Welcome to part three of It Takes a Village. This segment focuses on what to do when developmental screening results present concerning information, ways to connect families to services, and the importance of ongoing monitoring. After the developmental screening is completed and a concern presents, further information by means of an assessment is needed to determine what, if any, delay is present. Entities who provide this service include the public school's early childhood assessment teams. If a delay is present or other needs are identified, the child and family will be connected to services as early as possible. Early intervention is essential in giving the child the best opportunity to grow and develop. Service types include birth to three and preschool special education. The following slides review this in further detail. Although the type of screening tool and method of administration may vary, families should be informed in clear terms of the screening results and what happens next. If the child is meeting milestones, continue to monitor development and conduct recommended screenings. As part of the conversation, ask families if they have any concerns about their child's development. Also, offer resources such as Child Development Info Line and the CDC's Milestones Checklist and Milestones Moments booklets in order to promote their child's development at home. When screening results indicate that the child may have a developmental lag in one or more areas, it is still important to talk about the positive areas of development first. Then review the result concerns with the family, emphasizing that the screening tool only tests if a more in-depth evaluation is needed. This in-depth evaluation will show if services are needed to address a delay in development. The earlier these services begin for the child, the better it is for the child's development. Encourage families to share the results with the child's pediatric primary care provider who should also be supporting further evaluation to ensure the child's healthy development. Encourage permission for the ECE provider to discuss with the primary care health provider. If you suspect a child has a developmental delay, this sample conversation called Tips for Talking with Parents can give you ideas of how to talk with the child's parent or guardian. Creating and maintaining a partnership with families is a critical component and greatly benefits the child, family, and provider. Samples of these tip sheets are located in the toolkit. Additional resources are available on the Act Early website. Once you have completed a screening and a concern is identified, there are resources available to help connect families to services. Child Development Info Line, referred to as CDI, is a free statewide resource for connecting children and their families to a variety of services, including birth to three, early childhood special education, children and youth with special health care needs, Help Me Grow, and Ages and Stages. Ways to access CDI include calling the 800 number, using the CDI website, or using the Connecticut Birth to Three website. There are care coordinators at CDI who can help families understand their options and help connect to services. The care coordinators will also offer to follow up with families to make sure they got connected to the services. Call Child Development Info Line with any questions or concerns about a child's development or behavior. CDI also helps pregnant women connect to pregnancy-related supports, health care providers, health insurance, home visiting, baby items, and more. The care coordinators at CDI work with each family to find the best services available to meet their needs, including connecting to community resources, family support and education programs, and the Ages and Stages Developmental Monitoring Program which helps families track their child's development over time and screen for possible delays. Families can also receive information on various topics related to their child's development, such as managing difficult behavior, toilet training, sleep issues, promoting language development, and typical developmental milestone information. Follow-up is offered to ensure connections to services have been made and that the family's needs have been met. CDI is a single point of entry into Connecticut's birth to three system, which is available to support children under the age of three and their families if developmental concerns are identified. CDI can also help families connect to early childhood special education services in their town when children are 45 days shy of their third birthday through age five years. Families can monitor their child's development through Help Me Grow's free service, the Ages and Stages Child Monitoring Program. When parents sign up, they receive a questionnaire every few months. After each questionnaire is returned, parents are contacted with information about their child's development along with fun learning activities to do with their child. 
The Children and Youth with Special Health Care Needs program offers more extensive care coordination for children with chronic health, behavioral health, or physical conditions requiring more supports than other children the same age. There are several things you may want to know about CDI. The care coordinators who answer the calls have backgrounds in early childhood, special education, or human services. They also receive ongoing training to make sure they know and understand the service delivery systems and have the most up-to-date resources to share with families. CDI is staffed Monday through Friday and provides an opportunity to leave a message, which is responded to within a day. Bilingual staff who speak English and Spanish and access to a language line are also available. If a referral to a service is made by someone other than the family, care coordinators will call the family to discuss the referral. They will let the referral source know what happened with their referral. Because CDI is part of 211, they have access to all the resources maintained in the 211 database. They also do the legwork for the family to find the most appropriate resource for the needs the family identifies and offer to follow up on the resource given. Data is collected on child and family needs as well as gaps and barriers to services, which is shared with funders and policymakers. Care coordinators use a strengthening families approach to working with families and work to build parental resiliency, facilitating social connections, providing concrete support in times of need, increasing knowledge of parenting and child development, and encouraging the social and emotional competence of children. Help Me Grow is a free service of the Connecticut Office of Early Childhood that offers a wide variety of topical information starting from pregnancy through early childhood. It also provides resources related to child health, behavior, development, and learning. Help Me Grow links pregnant women and families to community supports as well as offers follow-up to ensure connections to services have been made and that the family's needs have been met. To make a referral to Help Me Grow, call Child Development Info Line at 1-800-505-7000. Sometimes families are reluctant to pursue an evaluation if screening indicates concerns. Child care providers, consultants, and health care professionals should acknowledge the family's hesitation and reinforce that they share the same goal, which is supporting the child's fullest achievement. Remind the family that the screening is not diagnostic and an in-depth evaluation may reveal the need for services and resources or it may indicate that the continued monitoring is all that is necessary. Continue to support the family and recognize their central role in their child's life. When screening indicates concerns, sometimes pediatric health care providers may inadvertently recommend delaying rather than pursuing an in-depth evaluation. While families may initially welcome this recommendation, it is a disservice to children and families. If a pediatric provider refutes the need for follow-up, ask if a screening was done in the pediatric office and what the results were. If no screening was conducted, then parents can contact Child Development Info Line and request a screening, monitoring, and additional services as needed. CDI will provide feedback to the pediatric health care provider at the request of parents. Child care health, education, and mental health consultants can support providers and families in addressing screening concerns and access to services. As the continuum suggests, monitoring activities should continue throughout all young children's developmental stages as they continue to learn and grow. In summary, remember these key points. Ongoing developmental monitoring and screening during the first five years of a child's life is highly important. Collaboration is vital among the key partners of parents, health care providers, and early care and education providers. Additionally, health and education consultants are critical partners in facilitating screening and referral. And finally, get those monitoring and screening tools and use them. Have resources available to follow up when screening show concerns. Thank you and please visit the toolkit for more information.